what is going on everybody welcome to your 24th Android application development tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a way to go from one activity to another using intents so intents are pretty much there this is a tool to allow your application to go from one activity to another and in between you can pass the data among the activities as well and receive them on the other end as well obviously so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a couple of buttons on both of these activities which would or actually just a single button so I would create a button on this and point it to this activity right and I would create a button on this and point it to this activity so you can just play around with those two buttons right so let's get started so inside my main activity which is my launcher activity I need to create a button so that I can actually go to the other one so I'm gonna say that this is Android text take me to secondary activity right and I'm just gonna switch it to relative layout so that I can make use of Android layout centering parent to be true right and I'm just gonna make use of the same exact layout here as well just this would be main activity and ID of button and actually it wouldn't actually hurt to have the same ID because these are two separate XMLs and two separate Java classes as well so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna say for main activity button or let me just create button button is null and import that as button find view by id ah, that id button easy enough then I'm gonna say set on click listener new and click listener right so here is the place where we would place the intents and uh, what you have to do exactly is write intent and it will just automatically import that for you and give it a variable name let's just say i is new intent right and you have to say the context of your current application for now you could just either write this or you can write get application context so that would mean the same thing and for the second parameter you have to write the name of that particular Java file which you want to point to and then add a class to that file so in my case this would be secondary activity dot class and the reason you are not writing Java here and actually class is that Java files are actually compiled into classes only so you are actually pointing to a compiled file instead of just the binary data right here or actually ask I should say so well we have just created our intent but I need to start my activity as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say start activity and then pass in the intent which I just created and we are done right so I need to do the same exact thing for my secondary activity as well so I'm just gonna copy and paste this just like that and we just need a button button is null right so we are good to go now and uh, pretty much let's just test our application on the device and uh, let's just see it's building right now and uh, installing APG and uh, I guess here we go so now we have a button which says me take me to the main activity so I'm just gonna click this you see okay so I guess I forgot to change that text right so this should be take me to main activity but this one should be take me to take me where to secondary activity secondary activity right and then just do an instant run right so now it says me take me to secondary activity 
what the heck I guess I forgot to change the name here as well so while copying just change it to main is pointing to secondary and secondary is actually pointing to itself so just change that to main as well and you'll be good to go so now if I click on this button very awesome so now we are getting secondary activity for both of these and I guess this XML is not getting compiled properly again so I should probably just restart my application why not so let's see if it works now and take me to secondary and take me to secondary well that is weird because I have updated my main activity but uh, it does not kind of reflecting in our Java code so what might be the reason so let me just uninstall this one and minimize this run this again and see if there's anything which was being cached and uh, very good so now Android Studio is hanged but it comes to life again and uh, it's actually installing APK now so it says me take me to secondary activity and what the heck is going on take me to main activity well that should not probably happen holy shit so I guess I got it I'm in main activity as well I'm making use of that same code so never ever copy paste your code right there so get rid of that second line so this is disastrous isn't it so now let's just run that and finally so we are on secondary to main to secondary to main secondary main secondary main secondary main and you can do this all day long but I have to end this tutorial so that is how pretty much you go from one activity to another and what you can do as an assignment is create three activities link first with second second with third or actually just link every activity with every other activity right so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm just gonna show you how to pass some data as well with the activities so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching